We present interactive exploratory visualization of vector fields. To explore a vector data set, a person begins by picking up a pen from the tray to start sketching a grid. To create lines, she can use the picked up pen, one finger, two fingers, or a frisk to create increasingly wide lines. If she's not happy with the result, she can use her flat hand to erase parts. When she has finished her glyph, she puts the pen down again. Now she can use the sketched glyph to explore the dataset. Using only one finger, she can probe the local properties. The glyph automatically reorients and adapts its size according to the local vector data. The flat hand can again be used to erase parts. To explore larger scale properties, she picks up the pen again and sketches a small arrow. Using her fist, she places many glyphs at a time, eventually covering the data. As the glyphs again scale and orient according to the field, she can identify major streams. To explore these further, she erases the arrows and sketches a short streamline. Using the two-finger posture, she now places sources that continuously emit glyphs. These glyphs are animated and follow the vector field direction. Several sources placed at the inflow of the water body reveal that there are only few major pathways. To examine the flow in the isolated parts, she moves a source here. To be able to distinguish these from major streams, she sketches a circular glyph and places it into the upper part. To make the distinction even more clear, she assigns a color to the source by dropping it into one of the color pots at the top. No glyphs produced by this source use its new color. Interaction using these simple hand postures on a large, touch-sensitive wall display makes it easy to quickly get an understanding of a new dataset. After having explored a dataset using these interaction techniques, the same methods can also be used for annotation. Being able to sketch custom glyphs makes it easy to create illustrations adapted to a specific type of data. Our system makes use of traditional vector visualization techniques, such as this lake image, that can be annotated. In addition, users can switch to other visualizations to confirm their findings or to get new insights. Further annotations using glyphs drawn for specific regions can be added to complete the image. In summary, we have presented a system for interactive exploratory visualization of vector fields on large, touch-sensitive wall displays. By letting users create their own glyph shapes and by using a set of natural hand postures to control sketching and exploration, we provide an easy-to-use interface for flexible, human-guided visualization.